Hey y'all, here we are at the Village Creek Trail. We're gonna go take a gander at what's around here. Let's go. Here we have the walk-in camping on this trail. And of course, it's prohibited to gather your own firewood. You have some little areas that you can kind of day use, have a little picnic. This is a sandy trail for sure. Y'all, I think this is granite. Wow, it's everywhere. Looking kind of murky down here. We have some water bubbles. I bet those are turtles. I really like the trails. They're actually more of sandy. So wear proper shoes. But it is uh, cut out pretty nicely. All right, y'all. Here is another one of those. I believe this is the sandbox tree with the exploding seeds. How interesting is this? So unfortunately we gotta walk the, the campground or around the campground and walk in camping. I guess this is it. To get to this part of the trail. This looks pretty nice. Big old tree. This does look awesome. Oh, this must be a paddling. Awesome. Oh, this must be the actual trail. This is the blue one. Mm -hmm. See, you yep. are here swimming area. This is so awesome. Oh, it's so beautiful. can tell a lot of decomposition up in here. That's why it's so dark and and stuff. Oh, that is so awesome. I think it's like a little waterfall. Yes, a waterfall through the knees. Wow. Okay, so we had to cross the tree to over here and now to walk over some of this this is beautiful and get lost in here for sure I did say this was challenging. yeah it said it was challenging but that's okay we enjoy a challenge there is a lot of mosquitoes here as well but that's okay we're gonna make it through Mosquito land. I love seeing all the new growth. Oh, look, looks like we're going to start getting close to the creek creek. Nice. I see a lot of these cypresses. Look at this one. Bald cypress. That's huge. I just love that everything, of course, is bigger in Texas. But when it comes to our creeks and our trees, so beautiful. <sighs> so big, vast, and beautiful. Look at this. How precious. I love it. That lady was probably referring to like most of this being kind of wet. Yeah. It doesn't look like it. Well, it seems like this is the main trail. This here. is just so neat. It's like little castles. Yeah. Look at these guys. Wow. This tree has a huge hole on the bottom that any kind of wildlife would love to hang out in. If I was a turtle, raccoon, anything, that would be my home. And then look at the base of this. Oh my God. Y'all, this thing is old. Sounds kind of hollow as well. 
just kind of spooky. Well, big old frog jumping in there. Oh, and there's an even bigger hole over here. This is like a community. Hole right there. Hole right there. That is awesome. Here we have approached the creek. Look at that. How awesome. Yeah, definitely eroding banks. A lot of yopons, a lot of hollies, a lot of pines. It goes on and on. Here we have another deep uh, slope. I'm assuming this is another little trench that floods with water. Oh, look at these cypress trees. Wow. Wonder what that is washed up on the water way over there. Hmm. Huh. Is this Village Creek? What? that <laughs> it looks like it slopes deeply down mm -hmm. oh but this water is deep truly beautiful it looks like a turtle's way out there a big one unless I'm going crazy we should have brought our binoculars and I'm not even sure what that is it's probably hard to see it on the GoPro camera but wow this is beautiful. It appears we have reached more of the forest here and it is gorgeous. Look, we have a burl here. Not quite big enough for a bowl, but definitely big enough. We see so many yopons, so many. A lot of ups and downs here. It's kind of brushed up with the underbrush here. It's not as quite cleaned out on the bottom, but it is nice that the path is carved out. Just always have to watch for snakes. There is a warning, usually at most state parks, all state parks, there's gonna be, at least where we're from, alligator warnings, snake warnings, and uh, on here it said venomous snakes and poisonous plants. So watch out. We don't know which poisonous plants we're looking for, but of course we don't go just touch everything. And I know I'm not allergic to poison ivy, so I am good there. All right, and this one is actually what most people call the little clover. We have a spider down here. Boop, 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 boop. But this is uh, what most people call clover, but wood sorrel. You can actually eat these. And I've heard, uh, yeah, it's like a little salad. And if you want me to, I guess, Yeah, it tastes like a little green salad. Romaine or iceberg? Romaine. Oh, oh, delicious. So these are those little dancing caterpillars. And when you make noises, rah, 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 they like to, they like to start shaking. I wouldn't even have noticed that until Patrick had seen it. That is truly. I'm my weight in gold. <laughs> That's awesome. I hear the trees squeaking. Wow. Here we have a little sloped trail going down. What's usually the creek, but it looks like the creek is dried up right now. So we're just going to walk it not wet. Glad we didn't choose to wear rain boots because <laughs> we really would not have needed it besides protection from the, the sand and potential snakes and stuff. Wow. And all the cypress knees. And we're going up. What an adventure. 
Yes, what an adventure. We're trying to get to this uh, ending, which will be a 2.2 mile trail. So we're trying to get there so we could show y'all what lies at the end of this trail. All right, here's a little cabana. Looks like it's been washing down big time. Nice. This is beautiful. Honestly, just sit, enjoy the beautiful, beautiful scenery. Wow. Well, here we are walking into the beachfront area. Here's our little map here. And of course, swim at your own risk. Let's go check it out and see what all the fuss is about. I smell the pine. Hmm, smells beautiful. Wow, look at that. Nice. It says they are known for this beach area. Nice. Definitely a beachy area. Come on down here and I think we'll take a break. Well, what do you think about it? I like it, it's beautiful. Look at those, so vast and open. Ah, nice and refreshing. And it goes on and on. Look at that, there's a bend. Definitely an abandoned house that looks like it's eroding off into the water. Cause I mean, as we know, the water has definitely gotten that high where the land is at least. Wow. People play in the beach sand. This is beautiful. And this is the main attraction here, which is this creek beachfront. Love it. Oh, the beautiful butterfly. Oh yes. It is beautiful out here. What about the dancing caterpillar? The dancing caterpillars were amazing. Loved it. He is definitely sinking down. <laughs> I bet it feels wonderful. Well, probably too cold for you. It was very cold on the hands. I think it's worth a mile for me. Yeah. Now we're gonna get all sandy and stuff. Walking up sand. I wanted to stick my feet in, but take my socks off and do all that stuff. I'm just gonna endure the sand in my shoes. Dry. That was very beautiful. Definitely worth the hike. All right, we have finally reached where we need to cross over. Thank heavens. <laughs> I had to sideways it. I started losing my balance, so I start running. <laughs> oh my goodness. Even though it's a small little creek. Oh my goodness. <sighs> that water, I almost want to just lay and bask in the water. All right, which way? This way. All right. Oh my goodness. We are nearing the end. you are here all right y'all we have finished the trail we seen the beach stuck our feet and hands on the beach felt great super cold long trail a lot of mosquitoes we definitely weren't going to do the whole trail we we're just going to try to walk a part of it but we decided to just go to the end because it was the best part of the park so 
So we had to see it all, y'all, and we had to take you along on the journey. So thanks for coming along Hope on this. Guys enjoyed on this awesome hike to the beach in the middle of the forest. Bye, guys.